Step 3. Introduction to the ARCHICAD environment. In this step, we'll familiarize ourselves with ARCHICAD's virtual building concept. We will also get to know some frequently used ARCHICAD toolbars and palettes. ARCHICAD has an integrated architectural design and documentation environment. You create a virtual building model of your project with intelligent building elements. At the same time, you work in conventional architectural views such as floor plans, sections, and elevations. All the sections and elevations, 3D project views as well as 2D drawings are fully integrated, ensuring higher productivity and fewer errors in your everyday work. After opening the project file, you'll see the floor plan displayed in the floor plan window in the middle of your screen. Right below the menu bar, you'll find the standard toolbar and the mini navigator toolbar. With the help of these toolbars, you can quickly reach the most important menu commands and navigate between the main view types of the project. Left of the floor plan window, you will see the toolbox. This palette contains all the ARCHICAD tools arranged into logical panels. The info box above the floor plan window shows the parameters and setting possibilities of the selected element or tool. On the right side of your screen, you can see the navigator palette. ARCHICAD provides streamlined workflow and covers the entire architectural design, design development, layouting, and publishing processes. The Navigator Palette is a tree structure that lets you build up the entire logical structure of your project and navigate within it. The Project Map shows the entire structure of the project's live views. You will find all stories, sections, elevations, details, 3D documents, 3D views, and etc. here. The View Map provides quick and easy access to all the saved custom project views. In the project files of this guide, the view map contains preset views grouped by chapters. While completing this guide, you will always have to use preset views located in the folders named after the chapter you are working on at the time. These views will guide you through the steps of this guide. Before completing each step, you will have to activate the appropriate preset view by double-clicking on its name. The layout book is a collection of layout sheets onto which you place drawings. This is where you prepare your drawings for printing and plotting or saving as files. Drawings placed on layouts are always up to date since they're generated from viewpoints or views. The publisher enables one-click document creation in various formats, ensuring that all the last-minute changes will be included in the published set. Finally, Let's open the Favorites palette, since we will use this frequently throughout completing the chapters of this training guide. Activate the Window, Palettes, Favorites command to display the Favorites palette on the screen. Drag the bottom right corner of the Navigator palette to resize it. Drag the title area of the Favorites palette and move it under the Navigator palette. Resize it so that the palette fills the space available. Favorites are pre-configured virtual building elements. You can save the element settings of any frequently used billing elements into favorites for later use. We will use favorites to considerably speed up the completion of the training exercises. Before starting a step, you will always have to activate the appropriate favorite by double-clicking its name in the favorites list. The name of the active preset will always tell you which favorite you will need in the actual step.